everyone and welcome back to my channel. Did you forget me? Because I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm sorry I've missed a few uploads. We'll get into why in a second because I have a reason. But first of all, I just want to say it's so nice to be sitting down and filming again. I've kind of had a lapsy daisy month. I want to say hi to the new people who have decided to join my channel while I've been away. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. It means so much to me. We're almost at 400 people here. My goal for the end of this year was 500. And we're so close and we're halfway through the year and that's just like I don't know it like melts my little heart a little so thank you so much for joining the channel I thought to kind of ease myself back into filming we do the challenge that I've seen doing its rounds on Instagram and YouTube and it's the one where you randomly pick numbers that correlate to colors in an eyeshadow palette and you try and make a look with whatever colors the universe chooses for you it's been a while since I've done a kind of creative look for my eyeshadow so I'm really excited to do this hopefully it'll spark a little bit of inspiration for me. Me being me, I couldn't just do this challenge. I wanted to change it up just a little bit. I've seen people do this with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I wanted to do this because it's got a lot of neutrals, it's got a lot of shimmers, it's got a few pops of colour in there but that's not enough for me. <laughs> I'm actually doing two palettes. I also wanted to use the Revolution Pro Mischief Mattes palette. Now please don't judge me, This is I use this a lot and it's kind of messy so just ignore it but it's got a lot of colours in here, very bright colours and pretty much every colour of the rainbow. I wanted to use both of these palettes to see what I can create with them. <laughs> So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to number the eyeshadow palettes. So the, the Jaclyn Hill one is going to be palette number one and then the Revolution Pro one is going to be, you guessed it, number two. <laughs> I'm going to pick six different eyeshadow colours to put on my eyes. I know that's very adventurous and people only usually do about three or four. But I was like, no, I'm going to do six. <laughs> And the Jaclyn Hill palette has 35 colours in it, the Revolution one has 18. So I've just got a container with 35 numbers in it and we're gonna see what colours I get. <laughs> also, I couldn't find two clear containers, uh, so I had to improvise a little bit. I had wine glasses. <laughs> Improvisation at its best. I guess we should get right on in this. I'm gonna prime my eyes with a little bit of P. Louise base and then we're gonna get on to the selection of the colors. Cheers! All right, so I've zoomed you guys in just a smidgen and I've primed one eye because I figured do one eye then the other. Uh, yeah, anyway, so let's choose the colors. I've got my glass of palettes. Let's pick the first palette that I'm gonna be picking from. I'm gonna keep it a surprise and let's choose the color at the same time. This one's a little bit overfilled. <laughs> Okay, let's choose this one. So the palette that I'm choosing from is number two, which is the Revolution <laughs> Pro palette. Okay, so we got a colorful palette already. And the number that I have is two higher numbers, so we're gonna have to choose a different one. I didn't really think this through, actually. The color number is number seven. So let me just find out what number that is in the palette. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's this color right here, which is called Ringleader. Uh, so we already have a nice bright pink. Okay, great. Time to pick the palette again. Number two again. Got 35 colors in here and there's only 18 in the Revolution one. So I keep picking out numbers that are too high and it's really annoying me. So the color that we're using from the palette is, we've got number 11. Let's see what that is in the palette. <sighs> Okay, so we've got the color Crusade, which is the kind of sky blue. I really love this color, but I don't know how the hot pink and the blue are gonna go. Shall see, we gotta make it work. Let's choose the palette again. We have number one. Now we're gonna go over to the Jaclyn Hill palette. We have color 31. Number 31 in the Jaclyn Hill palette is Diva, which is the <laughs> metallic green. How on earth am I gonna make a look with this? I've set myself up for failure. Three down, three to go. <laughs> we have number one again. Going with number 12, which is the color Hunts, which is this warm, ready color here. How am I gonna put these all in a look? I don't. <laughs> Got the Revolution one again. Got number 17, which is the shade Haunted, which is this purple one right here. Okay, final colour is from the Jaclyn Hill palette and it's going to be shade number 23 which is, <laughs> of course it is, metallic blue in the palette. Um, 
Okay, well, I guess, I guess we gotta get to it. I need to uh, take a moment to think about what I'm gonna do with all these colors. So I'll be right back. I'm really gonna test my color theory right now. <laughs> the first color that I'm gonna go into is the Revolution palette and I'm gonna go in with the color Haunted, which is like a very deep, deep purple. So I'm just gonna pat this on the outer corner. To be fair, this is a pretty cool color and I do not use it that often. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Ringleader and I'm gonna try buffing and blending out the edges. We'll see if this works. Probably not, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go around the sides as well and kind of wing it out a little. And heck, if we're going all out, we're going all out. <laughs> I'm trying to like blend the two colors together really well. This is a purple and a pink, so I'm hoping <laughs> that this isn't gonna look too bad. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and try and blend this pink out so it's kind of soft on the edges. And I'm just trying to build it up. <laughs> you know what? You guys are actually very far away. So let me just zoom you in one second. Now you can see what's really going on. Just building up that haunted color again. I think that looks okay. It's not the worst thing I've ever done. So far, it's only two colors of six though. So, you know. So I need to move on from this because I can't blend it anymore. <laughs> okay, so now I want to go in with the color Crusade, which is the light blue color we've got from the Revolution Pro palette. And I want to pat this throughout the crease by here. Isn't that a pretty color? I really love that color. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a little bit of the pink and I'm just going to try and make a little purple middle ground here. I, I don't know if this is going to work. I guess I could have just used the like hunted color to do that but I wanted it to be more of like a natural gradient if you know what I mean because that is quite a dark purple just taking a clean blending brush again and just trying to blend the edges just with the color itself man this is a real <laughs> two-tone look right now I'm gonna try and blend this purple a little bit over so it looks like it's more blended in with the blue. I'm trying to bring some of that pink back because I appear to have lost it a little because I want you to see all the colors. <laughs> I know this looks like a crap show right now. But hopefully I can put it all together in the end. So now I'm gonna go in with the metallic blue from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. I'm going to pack this on the center of the lid. Cut out the base a little so it's nice and tacky. Okay, I'm just glad it's kind of like a purpley blue, you know? I just realized I have a hell of a lot of fallout right here. <laughs> oh great. This is a gorgeous blue though. I'm just gonna wet it a little, get more of that like metallic sheen. This is so gorgeous. I don't know what I'm keeping the inner corner for but I just wanna Leave it there for a second. <laughs> Let's blend this purple with the blue. So far, this isn't turning out too bad. I feel like I'm giving some Harley Quinn vibes, <laughs> but I'm not mad at it. I have no idea where that green is gonna go though. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. You know what, let's just try it on the inner corner. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're here. <laughs> so let's try it out. It kind of has like a little bit of blue in it, so maybe it'll look okay. I highly doubt it though, but let's just try it. <laughs> oh God, that was a bad choice. Okay, I guess it doesn't look too bad. Who am I getting? It looks bad. I'm gonna try and remedy this by going over it a little bit with the blue and see what happens. Technically, I used it. That's all I have to say about that. Just gonna bring a little bit of this lighter blue down here. I legit look like the Harley Quinn character gone wrong. I have one more color that I need to use, which is the Hunt's color, which is not gonna go with this look at all because it's like a rusty color. But you know what? We're gonna try it uh, on the bottom lash line. This is 
not gonna mix well, okay? I'm gonna put it on the center here and then I'm going to work it back and hopefully I can blend this in with the pink. All right, so now I look like I've got a rash underneath my under eyes. I, uh, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm not mad at the actual lid. I feel like the colors go well together. They're quite complementary colors. Apart from this like red and that green, hell no. I am going to go do my other eye. I'm gonna also put on some mascara and lashes and we're gonna see what it looks like all together because it never looks right until you put lashes on. I'll be right back. So this is the finished look, you guys. <laughs> I had to change my blush and my lip up because they were just clashing and there was a lot going on But the eyes man, look at them. They are glorious I actually really love this pink purple blue combo that I've got going on the lid Not so fast about the reddish under eyes, but I can look past it <laughs> This is kind of like a bit of a different look for me Usually I'd do more of like a cut crease kind of thing But I just felt like doing a very blown out eye with these colors. I actually love the way that it's turned out. I was a bit skeptical in the beginning, but I do love the way this purpley blue looks with the pink. And I feel like in the end, it came together. <laughs> Especially when you add lashes on, like then it just brings it all together then and you can see it as a completed look. I would actually consider doing this again. I might keep those numbers handy. So whenever I don't know what makeup to use, I can just choose a number. <laughs> but honestly, it's so good to be sitting back filming again and playing around with some makeup and some fun colors. I'm so ready to get back into filming. The reason I actually haven't been uploading is because I managed to snap my SD card. I had things filmed. I had things partially edited. Then my SD card snapped. So I had to get a new one and then I went to London and I actually tried vlogging. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll try vlogging. I did enjoy it when I was doing it before because it did try vlogging before but uh, I realized I'm really not that good of a vlogger um, I'm just very accident prone and I tried using my phone and well here's here's how that went don't really feel like I've got up for vlogging. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be sat down here once again filming videos. Anyway guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in this enormous diverse world and yeah, I hope you stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully I'll have better hair in the next video. It's just frizztastic right now, okay? Till then. Bye guys. I wanted to use the Revolution Pro, but I also wanted to include. But I also wanted to include a color. I also wanted to include a very colorful, colorful. Oh, and it begins. So the way that I'm gonna do this, I'm. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna. Almost breaking everything in sight. <laughs>